Okay, I'm back for part two, and the reason I wanted to do part two was because I have accessories and extra bits, and then an extra special bit for the double O. So let's get to the accessories because I kind of want to get to the special part. It's pretty cool. So first we have the GN Sword 2, and since this is actually my second take, I had the combination of the two built. Uh, this is what it looks like. Colored it. Doesn't look that great. I probably should have used paint. Uh, there's a peg here and a hole here. So just pegs in like so. Um, actually, there's one thing I forgot to mention in the first part. Uh, there's a hole in there that I messed up earlier when it was attached to the stand. Uh, it was plugged in, and then I knocked it over, so it snapped off. So I tried carving it out because it was stuck, so it became unusable. But if you don't do what I did, it'll work fine. And it's a separate joint, so you can go side to side, or forge and backwards. And now really side to side and do that. But Prime 90 calls, Prime 92 calls it a jiggy jig jig thing. <sighs> and I think that was the extra bit that I forgot. And so for the GN Sword 2, to transform it to the gun, pull the sword handle out, turn it, plug it back in, pull this blue part down, split the handle in two, reveal handle and stock which just slides into the hand like so and then the stock actually goes into there and for the normal GN sword uh, you just close it up like that it just slides in like the same way as the gun like that and um, the O riser which is since it's part of the same set comes with the two GN sword bits parts or the, the GN daggers. Um, I combined this one to show you what it looks like. The handle moves from there to here, and you move them like uh, around from this, from looking like this to like that, and you would combine them to make it. The blade part goes in and out. Uh, comes with a beamless beam saber handle which is stored in the back skirt um... I don't think there's any more accessories uh, other than this connector thing right here which I talked about when I was remaking my GN Sword 2 you just plug it or take off the stocks for the guns and just do that they're both in gun modes, it looks kind of weird and that's it for accessories. Now for the double O riser, all you need to do is transform the O riser. First you pull, push up and out. Push up and then pull out. Pull the tail so it detaches like so. And fold it down, revealing this peg right here. These tabs go up. You can fold out the wings and pull out these things if you want. And then you just attach them right here into the GN drive. One goes in the GN drive and one goes in that slot right there. Just plug the guy in. And then plug the other guy in. And then plug this in. And I like to push it down a little because it looks sleeker. I don't know. And there you have the double O riser. Um, looks really nice. Oh yeah, one thing. On the GN shield, there's a special marking for celestial beam. Let's see if I can focus. There you go. And at the end, I might do the light piping if I can do it. Um, the o double O riser looks really nice. Uh, great posability. GN drives still do that thing where they were uh, 
Z versus did the tests to see if it would go down or not. It's really stable. So I thought that was a really great feature. And also, while I'm still making references to other people's ideas, uh, I think it was Return to There. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he had to, um, he did the review of the Trans Am Riser, and he had the great idea of actually he had two Trans Am Riser sets, and he had two of the um, O Risers. So what he decided to do was use two uh, all four of the binders to make this really cool effect. So what I'm going to do is attach the binders from the original O Riser, which I've already prepared here and just slide them into my new O-Riser which is already attached and then it gets this double defect which he called uh, I believe the double O double O the double O-Riser like the double O double riser or something and if you open, if you pull it out because of the articulation of the actual O riser, you can do that. But it's kind of heavy in the back because you're putting like an entire O riser in the back, so you gotta balance it just right. But if you do it, it looks really nice. Um, by the way, for the transformation, um, if you've already seen the really cool version, it's. Mine probably looks really bland. Uh, I only did it for because it's part of the review. And just letting you know, uh, you can. I'll probably put a link around here for Prime Ninety Two's video of uh, the double O riser with the ch super awesome transformation way. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you're, I don't know why you haven't already subscribed to Prime Ninety Two because. She does really great reviews, and I'm pretty sure she's a she, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, I think that should be about it, actually. So, yeah. This is a great idea, um, Return to There. If that's your, that, that's your accurate name. Just take these guys off first, because he's much more back-heavy with it. And... Also, uh, I have this setup right here with like three different display parts where I have my Keratin Gundam setup. He's going to be next on my review, next to be reviewed, and he's already in a pretty nice pose. So, look forward to that. And I finally decided the update. It's ready for me. Um, while I still have some time left, if you guys want me to do reviews of Gundam action figures I have, uh, feel free to ask, or I'll just start without you guys asking, because I, you guys rarely ever talk to me, and I feel really lonely. Oh, right, light piping. Um, let's move the camera. There's the Zeta and Mark II, Titans version. And I'm just going to get things adjusted. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Now, I didn't do a very good job, but you can still see it a little. Um, see, no light, light, no light, light. So it looks pretty nice. And ironically enough, you can see the eyes better um, in on camera because it looks much better. Um, light piping rules. And I paint, I colored that with a Sharpie. And I think that should be it. Uh, just post any comments or anything you want from me. And that should be about it. Uh, I can recommend this kit, definitely. It's only like twenty-some dollars. Um, the designer's version is cool, but you can get the normal version too. And that's it for this review. Um, I'll see you guys next time.